it's us, the Paytubesers. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me, so I might have to do a voiceover on this. Um, I have I have company over, and they're kind of just knocked out right now, so I'm trying to see if I can do this video real quick. So, I'm planning on making some uh, chili powder. This is like a family recipe, and it's really good for. Sorry, I thought I heard them waking up. Um, it's really good for love work, but specifically love work geared towards um, sad hearts, um, hearts that are doubtful and distrusting, broken hearts. Um, it's good towards uh, attracting a new love and a love interest, lover, soulmate, whatever, um, for people in that situation where they've just been used and abused repeatedly. So, I'm gonna go over uh, the ingredients as best I can, um, and I hope you can hear me and I hope you enjoy it. It's a pretty simple recipe. Um, so you just want some form of chili pepper. It doesn't have to be this one. Um, it can be cayenne if that's what you have available. But make sure it's ground. You want all this to be ground so that way it blends together nicely. And uh, my family's recipe is heavy on the, the paprika. Um, that's regular sweet paprika. Um, and then chili pepper and garlic. That's what we go heavy on. Feel free to go heavy on whatever you wish. So it's gonna be about almost two thirds, a little over half, so between the half mark of your jar and the two thirds mark of your jar. That's what the chili and the um, paprika and the garlic is gonna come up to. For recommendation, chili pepper is good for bringing um, a passionate, lustful, um, seductive desire into the relationship to make it really fun and spicy. Paprika is good for uh, a really good, uh, how do you explain it? It's, it's more of a sultry, I, I misspoke with the last one. Chili is good for bringing spice um, and lust into the relationship. This one's more for seductiveness, especially if you use smoked paprika. Something about that smokiness of the paprika really boosts up that seductive nature. It's a little different than lust. Um, but paprika is really good for just general love work, um, but also just a good, sweet, wholesome love. Um, and if you use the smoked, it's good for seduction. So, garlic powder... Um, it's a really good banishing herb. It's good for, to put it in modern terms, it's good for banishing uh, thought girls and fuckboys. So anyone that's like not serious in a relationship, at least this is the properties that we use these spices and herbs for. Um, as well as exorcism, which is a different work, different type of people, different entities. But when it comes to this chili powder, the garlic is really good for banishing away those unwanted people, the ones that aren't serious. Um, this, this chili powder is really good for people that want um, to make a stable, forever relationship to include, but not limited to, marriage, building a home, starting a family, etc. It doesn't have to be just that, but it oftentimes is that. But it's really just about that mature seriousness settle down with somebody type of relationship but this particular ingredient is good for banishing people not in alignment with that so the collective ingredients make it where you can manifest a love that's um, true and genuine and wanting to settle down but i'm going over the ingredients 
separately. I hope that makes sense. So this is ground cumin. Ground cumin is really good for protecting the heart. Um, and again, it has that uh, marital, um, domestic uh, energy and, and, and power behind it. So it's again, bringing forth people that are about seriousness, about stability, um, and that are going to comfort your heart, soul, and mind and body. I personally like to go a little heavy on the cumin in my recipe, um, but I am somewhat following my family's recipe, which is why like two thirds of it is the chili, paprika, and garlic. We're also gonna be adding uh, mayoranka or marjoram. Uh, this is good for, we actually are adding both oregano and marjoram. They are seen as the brothers and sisters of the heart. Again, this is just our, our, our beliefs, our practice, our correspondencies. Um, but marjoram is uh, the sister of the sad heart, and oregano is the brother of the glad heart. Um, so you use this when you're dealing with grief, um, depression, um, heartbrokenness, uh, distrust, anything that's like upsetting of the heart, marjoram is really good for, which is why we add it in here. So that way all those displeasant parts you're dealing with internally are getting cared for while you're bringing in a new love at the same time. Again, oregano is the brother of the glad heart. So this is really good for bringing in just new love. Think of like um, lovage or rose petals. That's kind of what oregano is, but it just works really great with marjoram. They're just like, this is why we see them as the brother and sisters of the heart. Mar uh, oregano is very good for a joyful, glad, upbeat relationship, um, but not necessarily fake because we have the supporting ingredients that help make it more mature and serious. just give this a little shake and as I'm shaking it I'm gonna enchant it and then I'll come back and show you um, what it looks like. I did forget to mention that there's also salt added to this ingredient or to this mix. Um, you can use any salt. Right now I'm using fine coarse uh, Himalayan salt. Um, not for any particular reason it's just the salt I have on hand. Um, salt is used for uh, purification. That's really what we're using it for, for that healing and purification nature. Um, though, because of it being Himalayan salt, a lot of people also see this as being connected towards love work. So you can feel free to use that as well. All right, I'm gonna do a final mix and then show you what it looks like. All right, y'all, so this is the mix. Mine is very like reddish orange in color. Um, just because it's very paprika and chili pepper heavy. Um, but yours can be lighter or browner depending on how much cumin or um, garlic you add or even other ingredients. Um, because I have, uh, uh, I don't know what to call it, like whole oregano or like loose leaf oregano and marjoram, um, it doesn't give it much of a green color to it. But I think if it was a powder, it would probably make it more green. Um, and then we all know that red and brown or red and green make a more of a brown color. So it would probably make it more of a brown color. Um, but this is what I got and it smells really, really good. Mm, it definitely smells like chili. It smells like the, the chili with all that ground meat and the beans in it. And you got your little onions and all the good yumminess in it. Put that on some rice. 
and, and you can serve that on your uh, as a dish for your potential love and you don't have to worry about all the nasty well let me not say nasty but some people might get squeamish or feel it's nasty to use the blood spaghetti method so this is a much um we'll just call it cleaner version so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you heard me and as always abundant internal blessings Mwah.